Friday, July 3rd, 2009, one of the more unique tea parties in America held at a gun range. Over 800 people braved the sweltering heat to hear the speakers talk about the importance of the Bill of Rights and the Second Amendment and, of course, freedom of religion. Uh, but thank you all for coming tonight. Now, I, I want to tell you why we're having this event the way we are. The, the, you, you've seen the slogan for this event, Plan to Religion and Guns since 1776. You know, I got some emails from people wondering why we were doing that. Why, why tie religion into an event like this? Well, and, and why tie in guns? Well, you remember last year Barack Obama made the comment that um, uh, he talked about frustrated Americans clinging to their religion and their guns. And that really, really bothered me because both of those things are, are, are rights protected in the Constitution. In uh, the, the First Amendment is, is the freedom of religion, and the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. And, and you know, it occurred to me that, that the way he said it, it was as if, um, as if uh, uh, believing in the Constitution or, or, or the right to bear arms and clinging to your religion was a personality disorder. It's not a personality disorder, it's a right. Well, you know, one of the problems, or one of the things we're going to look at today is the Bill of Rights. You know, in reality, Bill of Rights is the birthright for all Americans, and sadly, we have we have given up our birthrights. We don't realize what they are and what they mean to us. And the Bill of Rights has given us freedom. And unfortunately, we have people right now in Washington, D.C. who are busy trying to steal our freedoms, our God-given freedoms, on a day-to-day -day basis. And so what we're trying to do today is stand up and say, we're not going to let you have our freedoms. You may take our money, you may try to beat us down, but we're Americans. And we love God and we love our freedoms and we're going to stand for those because you know what? Our children deserve better than what the what Washington D.C. is trying to was trying to hand out to them right now. You know, um, one of the things, the great blessings, the best blessing that we can all have is is good health. But I got to tell you about some things I'm sick about. Uh, I'm sick about socialized medicine. Hearing about it, long coming to uh, the United States of America. I'm sick about the takeover of our automobile business by the President of the United States. I'm really sick about the whole idea that we're going to, later on, they're going to have a plan to uh, have us surrender our firearms. No way is right. I'm sick about the whole idea that we're going to get out of this by spending more and more and more of our children and grandchildren's money out of their uh, future. I am absolutely sick about Barack Obama being our president. Yeah. We can do so much better than that, and the, and the way that starts is a place just like right here. Dedicated individuals, citizens, patriots, people who want to make a difference in their country, people who want to see the whole idea of delayed gratification, hard work, uh, education, all the kinds of things that made this country great. Entrepreneurship, uh, living by high standards, standards that brought us up to where we are today. The idea of um, uh, voting for whoever you want to because they're going to do what's right for the country. All those kind of things are very, very important to me. I'm glad that you all are here. I promised Kerry Baker I would only speak for about two minutes. And so therefore, I want to wish you happy birthday to the United States of America. God bless you and God bless the United States.